When will my wife... Uh, when will Clara return to her original form? Not yet. You still haven't paid us enough gold. You've been paying us less and less. This is the best I can do. The tolls, the municipal taxes, the offerings to the Church of Martell. There's nowhere left to squeeze more money from. Well, I suppose this'll do for today. I'm sure Lord Magnius will remove the demon seed depending on your next contribution. Oh, what's the matter? You look like you just saw a ghost. Um, Lloyd, that's a really cliched line. Shut up, Genus. What are you doing here? Neil! Where's Neil? Governor General, I, I can't believe you've been working together with the designs. So that's it. You betrayed me. Governor General, the Chosen destroyed the ranch for us. Please, stop this foolishness! What... what have you done? You... destroyed Clara's hopes of living! I don't know who that is, but we saved everyone at the ranch. Except for Chocolat. Saved? <laughs> That's funny. All right then, just try saving Clara. Save my wife! What's that monster? She's crying. She's crying out in pain. You mustn't call her a monster. You don't mean... That's right! This is what's become of my wife, Clara. So that's why you told everyone she passed away. My father, the previous Governor General, was a fool. Because of his defiant stance against the Desions, they killed him then planted the demon seed in my wife as a warning. If I cooperate with them, they will give me the medicine to save her. But that means you're betraying the people of this city! Who cares? It was the only way to save Clara. But it's all been for nothing. I've lost the only chance I had to save her, all because of you! Stop talking like you're the only victim. I'm sorry about your wife, but think of all those people who believed in you, only to be sent off to the ranch. Any of them may have wound up just like your wife. Silence, boy! Stop acting like your justice is absolute. Where do you get off? Don't even start spewing the word justice! I hate that word! If you wanted to save your wife, you should have resigned your position as Governor General and searched for a cure, or help, or whatever. You're a worthless jerk who couldn't give up his social status even for his own wife. Lloyd, please stop! Not everyone's strong enough to stand up against the designs. Please stop this! Colette! I'll find it for you. If there's a medicine that can save your wife, I promise to find it. So please? There's no use. There's no way to remove a demon seed once it has sprouted. Kelia, what are you... What are you doing? How could you do that to your own father? Tapsolap! I am a servant of Pronima, leader of the Five Grand who rule over the design. I was merely assigned to observe the new human cultivation technique, developed by Magnus. There's no way that a superior half-elf such as I could have a fool of a father like this. A uh, fool of a father? Just look at him. He didn't even notice that his own daughter was dead because he was too busy chasing after medicine that doesn't exist in order to save his monster wife. <laughs> you... How could you? Don't worry, leave it to me. Take the demon 
Ready? Holy yeah. Lord, cast thy purifying light on his great soul. That's the weakness. No way! Gravity well! Ready? Monster free and let it kill you. No, not again. Do I have to kill another innocent victim? Well, wait! Is Kelia really dead? Kelia is... Don't worry. It seems your real daughter is fine. Lloyd? I see. You... I your name's Lloyd? Yeah. Professor Sage, please! Help him! Please save Chocolat, and if you somehow find a way to save my what, please help her return to her human form. When my daughter comes back, I don't want her to be all alone. Okay, I promise. Thank you. Governor General Door. I'm sorry for everything that's happened. Thank you for all your help. What are you going to do now? I think the first step is to get together with those who hold power in the city and reorganize the government. 
Good luck. As for us, we're going to find Chocolat, no matter what. That's right, because we promised. Indeed. Thank you. I guess it's time to go then. Yeah. Please, be careful. And please come visit the city again. We'll be waiting for you. My healing arts cannot even save one single life. Professor Sage, did you say something? No, it's nothing.
That's a wash tub? Yep, it's a wash tub. Wash tubs. Hmm. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. What's wrong, Professor Sage? Nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. It looks fun. Come on, let's get in. Yeah, Rain. Ah! Ah! Professor Sage, are you afraid of water or something? I... I was just starting to say, ah! This should be fun. Mm, sure.
not much of a specimen. Not much of a specimen. Your 
Professor Sage, Colette's sick again. Oh no. We must let her rest immediately. Time to set up camp then. Yes, but if this is going to happen every time she releases a seal, Colette is going to have a difficult journey ahead of her. For the time being, I'm going to call the phenomenon Angel Toxicosis. Colette, are you okay? Does it hurt? I'm fine. It'll go away soon. I'm sorry for worrying everyone. 
Okay, that's enough. You're not allowed to apologize anymore, okay? I'm sorry. Colette, you're still up? I couldn't sleep. You may feel better now, but you still need to rest. I know. I'll go to sleep in a little bit. Don't worry. But still... Kratos is still awake too. See? That's because he volunteered to be the Night Watch. You need to rest. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Please, dream some good dreams for me, Lloyd. <laughs>